Welcome to the second episode of the beta testing here on Vanilla FM for Football Manager 2024. In the first episode, we had a look just at um, how to start the game, really the basics of um, when you first start the the save, but also any changes that um, we could spot, and uh, also the, the uh, hiring of staff. Now, there were a few things I wanted to say for the second episode. Uh, one of which was tactics. So I had a look at the tactics. There are a few changes from um, the previous version of FM and uh, the current version. Um, so let's dive into it. I decided to go for this tactic here. So the way I came up with that is I looked for positions and roles that required not a lot of attributes. So the fewest attributes I could find and then I went through all the tactical, uh, like basically the suggestions that it has and tried to find one that kind of fit a large number of those and then I made a few tweaks. So I also included these two here down the bottom. So the wide center back and the uh, inverted fullback, just because I wanted to play around with those roles since they are new to FM. So what we have here is a, um, sweeper keeper in the defense role. We have, as I said, um, the inverted fullback on the right hand side. So they are going to essentially pull in once the attack begins. And the wider center back is supposedly going to pull out. So we should see these guys swap once we are in possession. This guy's gonna not go further than here probably because he's in a defensive role. And this guy is just going to tuck in behind him. Uh, then we have the uh, defensive set, um, uh, the central defender, and a non uh, nonsense central back, um, center back in the cover with just a standard fullback on the left. A supportive defensive midfielder, an attacking center midfielder, two attacking wingers, and a poacher. So that is what I went for this year. Um, yeah, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, so far so good. I think we've won all matches uh, as far as I can remember. Let's go look at the schedule. Yeah, we won all matches on this tactic so far. Also, it also means it's quite easy to find. For the majority of these positions, it's quite easy to find players. Uh, last year, last edition of the game, I had some quite bizarre choices for my wingers, uh, which meant it was really difficult to find players, especially at this level, uh, for those positions. But yeah, this is a bit more standard. The only sort of weird ones are the ones back here in the defense, but I want to play around with those since they are new to FM. Uh, I also did some transfers, and transfers is slightly different this year. Not so much transfers in, but transfers out. So I've already selected a few players to be transferred out. And I've also transferred out a few players already, so all of these. And basically the way you do it is you, or the way I've been doing it this year is go to a player that you want to transfer out and then offer via transfer room, which I can't actually do on this player because I've already done it. Uh, there we go, offer via transfer room. And then you can decide on the fee, uh, you can Transfer list as well. Um, you can basically this is the new way to offer to clubs. It just has a different name, probably for sponsorship reasons. But yeah, it's exactly the same way as before. The only change is that um, it takes a lot, a bit, a while longer for answers to get back to you. And then if a player doesn't sell in that way, you can. Um, hire an intermediate an intermediary to sell the player and if there is no interest at all in the player they will tell you straight away so he won't even go and do anything so so I if I do this say yes uh, which I don't mind doing it's fine it says uh, there is no interest in this player at this time so we can then ask to discuss with the player and then basically this is that chat um, from last year where you basically just say, hey, go find clubs for yourself. That's basically the, that chat. But anyway, so 
it's, things look a little bit different, but in, in, in practice they aren't they aren't all that different. So just a few tweaks and renaming things, I think. So what have I done so far? I have basically worked on most of the defense. Let me just reorganize my windows here so I can. Uh, I'll get my notes up. There we go. So. Um, yeah, so I've worked on most of the defense as far as transfers, so I brought in two new goalkeepers. Actually, let me go through the whole squad. So, um, in the squad we have Russ Griffiths that I brought in from Telford on a free transfer. So he's going to be one of our goalkeepers. The other goalkeeper is Bradley Foster, who is on loan from West Brom. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Ah, sorry about that. Now, so the right side of the fence, so that is that inverted fullback. We've got Nana on loan from Shrews. And we also have Darren. Where is Darren? Darren. Um, also on loan from Clyde. Uh, so Scottish. We have a few Scottish in the team, actually. On the left side of the fence, we have. Um, Isaac, also from Scotland. Actually, he's Scottish, but he's from QPR. So he's on loan from QPR. And then uh, the other player for that position is Mackenzie Lemon. Where is Mackenzie? Mackenzie that we brought in from Cardenbeath. There we go. Then on the we have several different roles. So for the role of wide centre back, I brought in um, Daniel Devine from uh, Lifey Wanderers, and the other player is Neil. Where is Neil? Neil also from Ireland, from a Kremlin, on a free transfer. Uh, and I haven't done any more changes, so that is it. I'm working on a uh, defensive, um, central defender. But anyway, the rest of the team is Hereford players. So in the central defender roles, we have uh, Paul Downing and also Nathan Cameron, who's, I think Paul Downing might be new to the club. <laughs> Yeah, Hereford got him from Roch from Peterborough. And then Nathan, I think I remember him being at the club last year. Well, no, he wasn't. I think I actually got him in the save. Because his name is very familiar to me. So I think in my version of FM last year, I actually brought him into the club. So Hereford actually went and got him in real life. Good for them. And then in the non-nonsense centre-back, we have George... Where is George? Is he playing? No. Oh, there he is. George. Never. Did I get this guy? I can't remember it. I did. Oh, yeah, I did. I got this guy. So, George uh, Nevitt is one of my own additions. I forgot about him. Um, but Hereford themselves have Mark Derricott. Whom probably I will replace. I'm actually working on replacing him right now with someone called Ben Erickson, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, so Mark is uh, one of Hereford Zone. He was out on loan, but he's from actual uh, the Hereford squad. In the defensive midfield, I had chosen to have uh, Jordan Lennon, who's already in Hereford, one of their new additions for this year. And then the other player for that position is Aurio, who's also new to Hereford this year in real life. The, in the um, midfield we have Alex Babush. In real life he plays in Hereford. And also uh, Son, Sonny, Sonny, Sonny? Probably Sonny. On loan um, with Hereford. Then on the wings, we have, uh, he's actually filling in, Adam Rooney is actually f filling in right now, he's not part of the squad. 
that I've selected. We got Connor Stanley for the right of of um, the right side of the wing, playing for Hereford, and we also had uh, Lasana Mendish. He came from Bala this year to Hereford. On the left side, we got Kobe Arthur, who. I think I got last year for Hereford in the game and they got for themselves in real life, which is nice. Uh, and then uh, Cisse. So Cisse is Spanish and he's come over to Hereford this year from Alfreton. And then in attack, we have two players, but they're both injured at the moment. We've got Andrew Williams, who's new to Hereford, and we've got uh, Jason Cowley. Who's, I think, also new to Hereford. Yeah, pretty much all of the squad is new to Hereford. Either in real life or changes that I've made. So, as you can guess, cohesion is abysmal. Not great at all. So that is something we need to work on for sure. I've already set up individual uh, training for all of these players. I think, I'm not sure if I've done George actually, because I've totally forgot about him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did. Okay, there we go. Maybe just no, I can't do that because it's on loan. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, so that is it. Uh, as you can see, I've already asked for other 21s. That's basically just for me to do some admin and drop some players into it that I don't want to use in the save. Um, and also gives me a few more coaches as well, which is handy. In fact, let me see if all the staff. Yeah. I've got the manager, so that manager will actually help with um, coaching the first team. So there he is. He's helping with the tactical element, so I can focus on everything else. I also got myself a, um, another goalkeeping coach. I took care of all of the staff now, so every every vacancy is filled in. As far as I remember, let me just double check that actually. Yeah, all filled in. All filled in. Very good. Okay. So that is that is that. And then let's see if we can move ahead and maybe play a game. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to sell this guy. Let me just quickly look through all the offers to see if there are any caveats. I mean, you would say, I think you would say here, but I just like to double check. He's probably going to reject all of them, though. If, essentially, I want to get rid of him so I can free up this wage budget. Okay. So I always like to congratulate. See, I think I've seen a bug with this element. Uh, so that was a new feature there, actually. I, f I forgot to pause for that. Um, so I think there's a slight bug with this, with this, um, see this is a new feature, so we, we can set targets based on poor training performance, but I, I don't want to do that, so, yeah, go ahead. So the bug is here, you can see it, like, we got, previously, if there was no player performing badly, it would not show anyone in this red section here. Similarly, if there was no well, no one performing well, this section in green would not exist. Now look, we I only have one player in the under 18, so he's obviously the best, but also the worst, because he's the only one. So he appears in the best section, but he also appears in the worst section. Now, he's not really performing badly, so I don't know why he should appear here. So, in fact, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And, um, yeah, this, this probably needs to get fixed. And also, I think best and worst probably isn't like you should just be like performing well, not performing well, that kind of thing. Right, it is match day. We're playing against Blith. And let's see what we've got. So. I like going by the last five matches, so give um, give the position to 
people who have been uh, performing well lately. I do also do some rotation for fitness reasons, so it does spread around the love a little bit. Uh, Alright, so we have a choice here between these two guys. I'm going to keep Nana in. And then we got Daniel Devine or Liam. And I'm going to keep Liam in. Sorry, Daniel in. Mark or George. Uh, and then here it's going to be Paul or Nathan. I'm going to put Nathan in today. Uh, here we're going to have Isaac or Lemon. Yeah, keep them. I forget to... Oh yeah, Connor. So... Oops. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep this guy for a minute. We're gonna have to give Kobe Arthur. In fact, actually, rather than having Rooney... Because he's not part of, he's not meant to be part of the team. He was just filling in. Let's give Lasagna his first game of the season, and then I've got these guys. So um, for strikers, because I'm, they're both injured. I just select everyone and look for someone that can fill in the shoes. And I put Rooney in. He's an actual striker and he's not tired. So let's put him in, and now let's look at substitutions. And with the subs, I try to give myself plenty of options. So this guy can play in three positions, so let's have him in. Uh, so I've got all of the field covered except for strikers. I need to work on strikers. Um, so I don't really have any strikers because he's already... The, the, the only other one I had is, was here. I don't think anyone in the other 21s can play striker. Nope. So, in the ne next best case scenario is just to put people that can play in a couple of different positions. So, I think I'm happy with how this is. I'm going to push it to very, very attacking. And let's roll with it. Um, let me just get my OBS back. There we go. So... Let's go. Now we're going to have a look at the match engine as well. I was hoping to have a look at how I do uh, recruitment, but um, yeah, I've run out of budget anyway, so I'm kind of kind of drip feeding the squad with new players, as and when I get rid of other players. But I got one player in contract negotiations at the moment so hopefully we can get someone in but essentially how I do the transfers is I create myself some filters based on the positions that I have to fill and I try to maximize the attributes if you've been watching the channel for a while you will you will know that um, I will keep my players um, in this in squad until I find someone that has better overall attributes based on that position. So I'll explain that in more detail, maybe in another episode, N not in this one. Let's focus on the match. So we, this is the new match engine. Uh, this I, I bumped up the speed a tiny bit just because the actual middle speed is. Is it this one? No, this one. It's just a little bit too slow. At least I find it a tiny bit too slow. I'm sure it's like pretty close to real life speed, but um, I like bumping it a little bit. Oh, I never seen that before. Stepping on the grass. That was a new animation right there for the penalty. Um, yeah, so I always bump it up a little bit to slightly faster. <laughs> I 
and the first thing I've noticed about the new match engine is that when it's raining or when it's foggy or so on, you kind of see a slight haze in the air. So it's yeah, just become that tiny bit more in accordance with real life. It's obviously still very gimmicky, but you know, it's getting the textures are better and everything's getting oh talking about textures look at that wall you can see the texture on that wall and so on the trees are not very good but I might be able to improve that let me just if I can jump out of this and play with my graphics preferences advanced and I go to match can I go to very high frame rate automatic render quality very high high okay so everything is on very high right now mm -hmm. I don't want music Okay, so let's confirm that. And now that I've put all the graphics to very high, let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can notice a difference. Right, let's get um, audio in and use Fuzz and Connor. I think this year it's only three subs, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So you can kind of see the slight haze, sort of a yellowish haze because of the time of day, but also because of the mist that the rain produces. seen an improvement in the graphics by going to very high but also and more importantly I haven't seen my computer struggle with it either which is good I don't really have like a super duper computer it's just an M1 Mac um, MacBook Air so first generation M1 MacBook Air so Nothing fancy. And it's our first defeat of the season, so... I mean, we have been playing at home a lot, but we have been doing well. So it's a bit of a surprise, but... Yeah, so I think the next thing is I might record another episode and just go through the... Um, you know, the transfer process. But then I'll just continue through the league and come in and if there's anything interesting to show around the beta I might also put some posts out on the Patreon if I find anything, any bugs or anything worth mentioning but yeah, I'm just gonna try and continue the save and um, see how we get on with it but yeah, so far looking good not much different from last year but then we knew it was not gonna be a mass a massive difference that that difference is going to come next year so next year the game is going to look a lot different from this year and that will be very interesting but yeah i'll come back if there's anything interesting to say or just at the usual points where you know the game i usually come in in the winter transfer window and also at the end of the season so if there's nothing special to mention then i'll come in at the usual times but thanks so much for watching until the end and don't forget to check out the patreon as well take care bye bye